The trial against the four expelled rebel NRM MPs again hits a snag as the judges of the Constitutional Court in the matter seem to be divided. This was after the lawyers for the MPs asked for more time to enable them file an application of leave to appeal on the court's decision. After lengthy submissions by both sides, court ruled that whereas the matter has to be disposed of in a timely manner, the application for an adjournment is for only one day, which they find reasonable. Justice Remy Kasule read out the ruling on behalf of his colleagues, Agustin Nshime and Stephen Kavuma. The judges had a divided opinion of two to one, as one of them found no sufficient ground for a grant of an adjournment. The ruling, however, did not name the judge who had not agreed with adjournment, but since two of them had agreed to adjourn, the one who had not agreed had to be bound by their decision. This was after the rebel MP's lawyer Ben Watcher informed court that they had filed a notice to appeal and also filed an application for leave for appeal, in which they wanted the three judges to grant them leave to appeal their decision. He requested for one day because it is only the court registry which had not finished entering the application in the court system. The NRM lawyer John Mary Mugisha opposed the adjournment, saying the rebel MPs were abusing the magnanimity of court because they had all the time and had a right to make an oral application for leave to appeal immediately the ruling was delivered, but they failed to utilize it. Mugisha said before he read out a section of the Court of Appeal Rules which emphasized that constitutional petitions should be handled expeditiously and in doing this, the court may even sit on Saturday or Sundays. The two judges granted an adjournment Wednesday for the rebel MPs to make out their case on whether they deserve a right to appeal. Entitled to appeal to the Supreme Court against the decision and accordingly an appeal shall lie to the Supreme Court under clause 2. The rebel MPs were retained in Parliament by the Speaker Rebecca Kadaga after they had been expelled by the Party Disciplinary Committee. This did not please President Museveni, the chairman of the party, who instructed lawyers to petition the Constitutional Court challenging Kadaga's decision and he swore an affidavit demanding their removal because they were no longer representing the interests of the party on his ticket, resources and support they sought election.